Arali. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good. And you? No good. Problem. Very good, teacher. Excellent. How is your job? No problem? What? Good. Good? Not your, uh, your job. How is everything in the office? No problem. Very good. Okay. Yeah. I am tired. Okay. Yes, that's that's the problem, right? Too much work sometimes. Okay, good. Then let me see. Oh, Angel. How are you, Angel? Hello, teacher. How are you today? Okay. Good? I I okay. I am okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. Excellent. That's great. A lot of work? Uh, no. 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 Mucho, no mucho trabajo. Good. So, so. So, so. Okay, very nice. Hello, Carmina. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Okay. Very tired, but... Smiling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Carmina, are you angry? I mean, sometimes? Uh, today, no, because I ate uh, my dinner. <laughs> No, I mean, already, it, already. No, no, but I mean angry. Ah, ah yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you, yes. You, you have bad temper. Uh, you uh, look my look my my face and you you talk. You no, tell me. no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You, I, I, that's what I'm asking you. Porque me da la impresión que that you are always smiling. Um, no, 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 always, but the seven percent. Seventy. Seventy percent. Seventy percent is acceptable. Yes. I, you know, I, I'm usually smiling and happy too, but mm -hmm. uh, probably like you say, yeah, sometimes depending on some situations in the traffic, you know, in the traffic I get, mm -hmm. yeah, I get a little bit angry, but not all the time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Excellent. Okay. Brenda is here too today. Okay. Brenda. How are you, Brenda? Hi, teacher. And you? Okay. Good. Excellent. Uh, Today I want to start. I don't know. Do you have any problems with the with the platform? Tiene algunas dudas, preguntas de la plataforma? No. Me he quedado en la en el examen final en la parte de las oraciones. Ahí me he quedado. Ah, okay. Pero del examen final mañana. Mañana vamos a hacer en la última media hora vamos a hacer una revisión por si hay algunas porque puede haber algunos problemas técnicos de comas y cosas así. Eh, algún repaso de algún tema, we can do it tomorrow. ¿Ok? Sí, lo, hay, a veces quedan como espacios y eso uh -huh. es lo que da como error, entonces había que borrar, como dijo usted, y volver a escribir. Exacto, uh -huh. that happens. Ok, and the, other, and the other exercises before in the platform, no problem. No. Okay. No problem. And you, Carmina, no problem. Uh, yes, teacher, but it's only in two words, but I try to other words without points or with points and nothing. But okay. uh, tomorrow I I show you. I okay. will show you. Okay, mm -hmm. no problem. Okay, excellent. Okay, so then let's uh, begin now. We have uh, here. 
me see. Let me see the platform what we have. And we do have here number two. It's not uploaded. This is number one. Okay, here we go. With the number five. Here is where we stopped yesterday. With the present perfect and simple past, remember? And now we're going to see the same as present perfect, but now we're going to see the for and since. Okay, we have, uh, for example, the four words, okay, that are very commonly used, okay, commonly used with the present perfect. Already, yet, for, and since. Okay, remember when you say, I have already seen that movie, it means that the action is completed. Ya he visto esa película, right? I have already seen it. When we use yet in negative sentence, it means that the action is not completed. I have not seen that movie yet. Okay. And when we use for, when we use for, we mention the duration of time. Okay. I have a study English for six months. Okay. And when we use since, we mention the starting point. I have studied English since, a, what it would be, um, since April, okay, six months ago. Okay, so these are the, the ways that we use it. For six months. For six months, uh-huh, Arely. Okay. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Since 1990. Present perfect with since. Present perfect with for. Okay. So this is what I want you to remember and see. And remember this uh, structure, right? This formula. She has lived here for 20 years. Okay, if you see, we have taught at this school for a long time. The expression for 20 years, for a long time, for three months, 
for a week. So the period of time is at the end of the sentence. Okay? So you, I say, I have lived here. Okay? I can tell you, I have lived in this house, okay, for uh, 10 years. Uh, I have taught uh, English for 20 years. Okay, and then you are giving the, the period of time. And the people have an idea. Uh, the other one where you use since is the same, but with, uh, let's say, in a different form. Okay, uh, I have lived here since 19, uh, 2010. Okay, 10 years. I have taught uh, English since uh, 2000, okay, or since 1995. Alex, ha uh, Alex has been married since March 2nd. Okay, you can say I have been married since uh, 1996, okay? So then using since and for. Child. Since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay. Okay, I have lived in Chalchuapa for 20 years, right? That's correct. Now, before we do the knowledge check, okay, now please write. I want you to write uh, in your notebook two sentences. Okay, two sentences using for, for and two sentences using since. Okay, for example, I have lived in El Salvador for 15 years. I have worked at SEPA for 12 years. Okay, I have, uh, I have been married since uh, 2015, since 2010. Okay, two sentences using for, two sentences using sense. Okay, I'll give you four minutes. Okay, and then after okay. you are going, you are going to tell me your sentences. Hi, Wilfredo. Hi, teacher. Okay, you just came in, right? Right. Okay, uh, the rest of the group, they are writing sentences mm -hmm. with, uh, let me see, uh, let me show you. Wait a minute. You've seen since and for. Okay, for example, two sentences using um, she has, I have lived, for example, I have worked at SEPA for 10 years. I have lived in San Salvador for six years. Okay, two sentences using for, 
in hello hello in this session we have thought as alice has been weak and since yesterday just since since okay two with four and two with since about your personal life Okay, ready? Okay, who begins? One volunteer. Only one volunteer, only one volunteer. Not two. Uh huh. Okay. I have visited my family for for um, <laughs> for many times. For a long time. For a long time. For a long time. Uh huh. Okay. Good. I have visited my family for a long time. Okay. Another. Um, I have I have work I have work at SEPA for two years. Okay, I have worked at SEPA for two years. Good. Okay. Since um, I live in Acajutla. I have lived in Acajutla for no since twenty twenty nine. Twenty. Twenty nine. Twenty oh nine. Two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. One more with since I have I have studied English since mm -hmm. since last year. Since last year, very good. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ellie. Okay, another one. Yes, Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. Brenda and then Carmina. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. I have studied English for six months. Okay. Uh, I have watched the movie for two hours. Mm -hmm. uh, she has worked her since uh, 2019. Okay. He, ha he has danced since uh, this morning. Okay. He has danced since this morning. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Very good. Okay, Carmina. Okay, I have worked in Pandora for two years. I have do exercise since August. Mm -hmm. I live in San Luis Talpa for two years, but I have lived in La Paz since two, 2011. Okay, very good. Okay, fine. Uh, just repeat the second one, please. 
thing I have uh, done. I have done right exercise. Ah, uh, don't yes, uh, uh, yes, I have done exercise since August. Yes, that was one. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, uh, Oscar. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Oscar. Okay, um, I have lived in the. I have lived in the San Salvador for two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a visit my family for a long time. Okay. I have. I have eaten a pupusa last night for dinner. I have put, uh, yes, but for dinner, is, that's not duration of time, okay? Ah, okay. So they ha I have eaten Salvadorian food for many years. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I have studied the English um, the three months, the years. For three months? For three months. Or since, that would be September, August, since July. Okay, since July. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, Tatiana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Tatiana. I have working in a casa car for uh, four years. Okay. I have living in Mexicanos for uh, five years. Okay. I I have married uh, in December eighteenth. Okay, it's two, uh, 2018. I have been married. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have been married since twenty eighteen. For two years. Mm -hmm. uh, December. Uh, mm, okay. Uh, 18. Two th 2018. Oh, eight. Or two, 80. Quiero decir el 18 de diciembre. Ah, okay. Since December 18th. Uh -huh. Okay. Se December 18th. December 18. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, the, have a, I have studied English uh, since six months. Since? Since six months. Um, then you have to say the month. Since April, since May. Okay, since is the, the un punto específico in the past. Ah. Okay. Since March, uh -huh. March. Since March, since March this year, okay, or since March, no problem, okay. But if you say okay. six months, yet I have studied English for six months, okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Earth calling Kevin, no. Okay, Stanley? Yes. Ah, Jose yes, Angel. Okay, Jose yes. Angel. Tell me, tell me your sentences. Okay. I, I have both food for dinner. Okay, the sentence is correct, but for dinner, it no es el tiempo específico, eh, duración de tiempo, right? It's for dinner, in that case, it's like a preposition too. Okay, you say for? Two years, for one month, for six months. Okay. Okay. Continue. I have, I have worked for two years. Okay, that's correct. Uh -huh. I have lived in Rosario de Mora for 24 years. Okay. Okay. No, since mm -hmm. I have played so soccer since the in afternoon. Since this afternoon, wow. Uh -huh. I have read a book since at eight o'clock. 
Okay, I have read a book since eight o'clock. Since yes, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Okay, thank you, Angel. Yes. Very good. Okay, um, Stanley. Hi, teacher. Hello, okay. Tell me your sentences. Uh, okay, Stanley has been at work since 6 40 a.m. Okay. I have been in class since 9 p.m. Okay. Mateo has been smiling for five minutes. <laughs> okay. That, I that. have been. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, continue. Uh, I have been studying English for a month. A month, okay. Good. No, that happens with my salary, Stanley. I have my salary for five minutes. And, dis <laughs> and disappears, right? And disappears. Okay, so it's, it's magic. Okay, that's magic. Thank you, Stanley. Now, Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. I have working in a Cajutla port. I have been in, no, I have lived in a Cajutla. For? Sonate, port, uh -huh. a Cajutla for, port. No, for two years, for three years, for five years, for 10 years, the, the quantity, uh -huh. the duration of time, okay? Sign. The sign. Since or for? For, for, for. Uh, for example, say I have worked at Akahutla, you say, right? At Akahutla. Port for 20, 25, right? <laughs> Hello, Oscar. Hello, good evening. How are you? I fight, thank you. And okay. you? So good, my home. Oh, okay, good. I'm back. Okay. El internet en mi casa tiene hora para fallar, saben. Falla nueve y media. Always the same case for ten o'clock. Okay, good. Uh, sorry, Wilfredo. Okay, I was. Uh, let me see. Yes, you were saying I have worked at Acajutla. Acajutla Port. Ajá, uh -huh, Acajutla Port. Four. Four. 25 years. Okay, yeah. look, look at the chat. You say I have worked at Acajutla for, for 25 years. Okay. Okay, or, or I have worked at Acajutla for uh, since 1995. 95. Since 1995. Fine, Science. Since 1995. Entonces, el, um, 1995. El for lo ocupamos para la duración de tiempo que se ha hecho algo y el since desde cuándo, right? Since, desde, 19, desde, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. since 1995. Es lo mismo de diferente forma, right? All Entonces, right. Thank you, Tish. Uh -huh. Si se suma de since 1995 up to now, it's 25 years. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, anybody? Questions? More questions? No problem. No. Hey, who's oh, Daisy is missing today. No right? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's see then. Let's continue and look at the next exercise, which is this one: the knowledge check. Okay, we have ten questions here. One for each one. Okay, let's begin with Oscar. What's the number one, Oscar? Choose one option. For or since? It's for teacher. Oh. For almost four years. 
for a month. I, I be being a college student for almost four years. No, here. The number one. Pam was in the Central America for a month last year. Okay. Carmina, number two. Okay, yes, I being a college student for almost four years. For almost four years, okay, good. Uh, number three, Wilfredo. Four or six. Hiroshi, Hiroshi mm -hmm. has been at the world, signed, mm, for six a.m. Since or for? Uh, since. Okay, good. Jose Angel, number four. Yes. Uh, uh, I I have gone to a party. For a long time. Okay, I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Yes. Brenda, number five. Jones lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. For two oh. years as a kid. Okay. Tatiana, number six. Natalie was an angel to Danny for six months. Oh, which one? No, the number six. My parents. Six. Uh -huh. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Monday. This is Monday. Good. Thank you. Kevin, number seven. No teacher. Yes, Kevin. Number seven. Natalie was and got get en to en Danny. engaged. Engaged to Danny for six months. For six months. Okay, good. Stanley number eight. Pat and Valeria have been best friends. Since high school. Since high school. Okay, good. Excellent. Ari Lee, number nine. Hello, Ari Lee. Don't abandon us in this moment, Ari Lee. Hi, teacher. Hello. Number nine. For or since? I don't see the chair. Uh, this one, we have been in class for 5.30 p.m. or since 5.30 p.m. No? You don't see it. Okay, Oscar, can you help me with that? Number nine. Okay, teacher. Um, five, 30 minutes. Since? Since? Number nine. Okay, okay, nine. We have been in, the, in class on size 5.30 p.m. Since? 5.30 p.m. Okay, good. And Tatiana Yvonne, Tatiana. Number 10. Okay, Tatiana, the babies. 
the the babies have cried for a thirty minutes. For thirty minutes. Okay. Then you have four scenes. Sense four. Sense four. Four cents, four and four. Okay, so these are the uses of four and cents. Okay. Just remember, okay, for duración de tiempo, okay, a month, for a month, for one day, for one minute. Okay, for example, you can tell you can tell the children be quiet for a minute okay for ese periodo de tiempo be quiet for a minute then i have been quiet for a minute okay no speaking saying nothing and since i have been quiet since 9:37 quiet for one minute good a uh, questions or no questions okay no problem with this since and four no problem okay good just remember the Mm -hmm. The practice, okay? Yes, the sound made sense. Now we're going to check the last one. It's another objective here. Okay, Carmina, can you please read this objective here? Okay. In this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by link final T and D sounds in, verb, in verbs with the vowels that follow. Okay. With the uh, vowels that follow. Let's see. in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay. Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, any questions? Important here. Hi, in this lesson. Here we have to listen different times. Okay, I'll show you this. Listen, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. 
Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now I want you to practice once in Miami. Okay, look at this. This is the the meaning of this, and we do this also in Spanish, right? So we link the sounds. Link the sound is that we put them together. For example, here we said, uh, "Have you cooked lunch yet?" And then the first letter B answers, "Yes, I already cooked it." No, cooked it. Cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it. I tried it. No, I tried it. Okay, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, this is, you know, sound more fluent, okay? Uh, uh, for example, in Spanish, we say, mas allá, right? Dependiendo de lo que we say, mas allá. Mas allá, we don't say mas allá, okay? Only when we want to be very effective. Le estoy diciendo que mas allá. In that case, we separate. But normally, we say mas allá. Aunque no decimos más allá, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo decimos? Más lejos. <laughs> <laughs> en buen salvadoreño dice maja, más allá. La S la pronunciamos a veces como J. Right? Say más allá. We use it. A mí se me va a veces el salvadorian. Ok, good. So then, here we say, have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Okay, let's see. Oscar, read the two conversations. Okay, teacher. Have you cooked lunch yet? Cooked. Cook lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked cook it. it. No, cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Okay, Rub it. Have you? Yes, I've already cooked it. Okay, I've already cooked it. Okay, una okay. sola palabra, cooked it. Okay, have you? Okay, yes, I've already cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Uh -huh. Cooked it. Cooked it. Okay. Okay, good. Cooked it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carmina. Read the two conversations. Okay. Okay. Have you ever tried Cuban food? No, the, the two. Begin here. Uh-uh. Yes. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Okay. The next one? And then, have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, I tried it once in Miami. That's correct, right? Tried it. Uh, Tatiana, the two. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I, I, I read cook it, put cook. it. Okay. Uh -huh. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it one, once in Miami. In Miami. Okay, very good. Stanley. Hi. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I have already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Thank you. Jose Angel, the two conversations. Yes. Have you yet? Okay. Yes, I have already I tried once in my Yes, I already cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Uh-huh. Cooked it. The next one? Have you ever tried Cuban food? Try, try. Right. 
tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried. I tried it. I tried it. Once. I tried it. I tried it. Once in Miami. Okay, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Okay, teacher. Can you cook it? Lunch? Yes, yes it already cooked it. Cooked it. Had cooked it. Had you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it, it once in Miami. Tried it once in Miami. Okay. Uh, Kevin. Hi, teacher. Okay. Read the two conversations. Have you cooked a lunch yet? Yes. I be a really good kid. Have you ever tried Cuba food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, William. Oh, sorry, William, Wilfredo. <laughs> Wilfredo, okay. Yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Have you, have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I have already cooked. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Uh -huh. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, good. Arely? Have you, have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I ate it. Have you ever tried Shut. Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. I tried it once in Miami. Okay, eh, saben que a veces uno dice, es que yo no entiendo inglés porque hablan muy rápido. Y eh, lo que pasa es esto, ok, que se, ellos unen estas palabras. Ok, I've already, I've, all, I've already, I've already cooked it. Ok, le voy a hacer un examen. Ok. Este es un juego, ¿ok? No es... Let me see. Ok, good. Okay, Carmina, can you read that quickly? Um, one moment, please, teacher. Solo léalo rápido, okay? No lo, okay. No lo analice. Uh, I'm in an office. Okay. Oscar? Uh -huh. Read it. Okay. I'm in an office. Okay, good. ¿Están hablando inglés o no? Yes. <laughs> ah. I'm in an office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lo analizó después, ¿verdad? Yes. <laughs> I'm... Fíjense lo que han dicho. I'm... Uh, let me see. I'm in... An office. Okay. Eso es lo que están diciendo, right? Yes. Pero para que cuando uno habla rápido se oye así. I'm in an office. Where are you, Carmina? I'm in an office. Uh -huh. Okay. Aquí en una, estoy en una oficina, right? I'm in an office. 
But then, eh, this, y eso es por lo que a veces decimos, no entiendo cuando hablan. Lo que pasa es que lo une. Vean que el I mean non office. I mean non office. I mean an office. Ok. Entonces, lo mismo está sucediendo en this exercise, right? What they are doing is eh, linking. Ok. Linking the words. Ok. So they say, cooked it. Try it. Ok. At once. Try it. At once. Now listen. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, what is the question for the number two? Here, have you? Rabbit, please, teacher, no, no listen. What is the question for this? The, have the, you ever cut hair? No, this one. Have you ever tasted have you goat cheese? Taste uh huh. Yes. And the, the dancer. Uh huh. Uh, have you ever tasted good cheese? Yes, I have tasted. Tasted? Goat cheese. El goat, uh -huh. El goat cheese se convierte en it. Ah. Okay, now tasted. read it. Tasted it. Tasted, tasted it. 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 La D, última, como una pequeña R. Taste it. Okay. What's the answer for the next one? Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes. I have. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Mm -hmm. Number three. Have you ever brought, have you yes. brought your dictionary today? I have today? both. I, I have, have uh-huh. I have brought, brought, brought it, brought it, brought it, brought it, brought it, I have brought it. The next one, have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes. 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 I, have. I have. Yes, I have. Read, read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read is in present. Read is in present. So then you have, yes, I have tasted it. Yes, I have tried it. Tried yes, it. Yes, I have brought it. Brought it. Yes, I have read it. Right. Mm -hmm. Tasted it, tried it, brought it, read it, read it, mm -hmm. read it. Okay. You don't say read. Yes, I have read it. No, read it. Yes, I have brought it. No. Yes, I have brought it. Okay. Yes, I have tried it. Yeah. No, I have tried it. No, tried it. Okay. There is. You, then you do the linking. Okay, the linking action is the unir dos sonidos. Try it. Eso sucede cuando hay consonante con vocal. Okay, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. Cut it. Okay, cut it. Let's say cut it. In here, this one, how do you say? Bring it. Bring it, uh -huh. bring it. No, you don't say bring it, no, bring it, okay? Bridget. Uh -huh. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. 
Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay. Take it. Take it. Mm -hmm. This one? Do it. Do it. Do, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, no, do it. No, do it. Do it. Do it. Huh? Okay? That's the way you use it. Take it, bring it, cut it, do it. Okay? So these are, you know, the, the linking forms in different ways, right? So here we have, this is the other one. Do it. Do it, yes, that's correct, do it. Do it now. And have you ever tasted goat cheese? Yes, I have tasted it. Okay. You're here. In this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Okay, good. Then uh, for tomorrow, people, we have a, we're going to have a practice, oral practice, okay, with, um, let's say, some uh, a role plays, okay? I will give you some uh, information, and then you are going to create some uh, a conversations, but original conversations that you are going to invent. So, we're going to begin working with uh, groups, okay, to prepare some role plays, conversations, and vocabulary, poniendo en practica what we have learned during this month. Okay. Now, if you if you have questions about the platform, please let me know, okay, so that we can see if I can help you. Okay. So have a good night, and I will see you. Good night. Tomorrow, okay. I see you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, bye bye. I see you good tomorrow. Night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye, bye. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, okay. Good evening. Okay. Bye. Everybody. Okay, bye.